punched by a passenger for the second time in a month. A Kansas City bus driver is assaulted. You can see here the attack captured on a Metro bus camera. The suspect yelling at the driver. The passenger walks off the bus, but then storms back on. And you see it there, punches the driver in the face. Tonight, police are still looking for that man. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Clay. And I'm Krista Dubill. New tonight, we get a behind-the-scenes look at what these drivers deal with on a daily basis. Beth Vaughn is live. Yeah, hi, Krista. Tonight, I rode along with a city bus driver who has been carting people around the streets of Kansas City for the last 23 years. Robin Barik has just about seen it all. In her years of busing people from stop to stop in Kansas City. I've seen quite a bit. <laughs> Thankfully, she has only seen a handful of violent passengers. We've had two recently, but in the whole time I've been here, 23 years, probably eight. That's not very many in eight, 23 years. Last Friday, one of those assaults happened at the Metro stop at 39th and Main. You can see a rider yell at the bus driver and eventually punch him in the face. Society seems to be getting, um, you know, a, a lot more uncivil. According to Metro officials, 90% of buses have cameras. That wasn't the case early in Barik's career. He just got on acting crazy with a two by four. And I pushed my silent alarm within minutes, the police were there. As technology advances, so does her sense of security. The cameras make me feel safe. We have silent alarms if anything was to happen. I've had to use mine once, and the response was quick. Surveillance footage like this doesn't phase veteran drivers like Barik because she knows most riders are more interested in getting to their final destination. Then picking a fight. An interesting training tip these drivers get is when they feel like they're in danger, they immediately unhook their seatbelt. That way they have immediate mobility. Interesting tip there. The man we showed you in that video has still not been caught. If you have information that could lead to his arrest, please call 474 TIPS. Live in Kansas City, Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News.